Welcome students. On your journey to going pro, one of the things that all professional attorneys use on a regular basis is briefs. Now briefs are arguments that are presented and constructed by attorneys. The goal of a brief is to argue that their particular client, their side, is in the right and that opposing counsel or the opposing side is in the wrong. So the nice thing about briefs is not only do they lay out arguments for your side, they also lay out arguments and counter arguments for your opponent's side. And along the way, they cite to primary authority. Now, why is this helpful for a young student or somebody who's just entering into this area of law? Well, essentially, it is giving you the groundwork of a really good argument. It's helping you build the outline that you can then use to build out your own arguments. Essentially, it's allowing you not to start from scratch, but to give you a good insight into what other attorneys are using and, and citing to to make their arguments. The other thing that briefs are oftentimes used for is whenever you get out into practice, a lot of times you are uh, taking work product from within the firm or from within your organization and updating it to the most current law. So a lot of times the arguments don't really change, but the authority itself is. So seeing what maybe opposing counsel or opposing law firms have uh, filed on that particular subject will give you a heads up in terms of that argument. So how do we locate briefs? There are two different ways. The first way that we're going to talk about is actually located here on the home page. When you go to lawschool.westlaw.com and then access Thomson Reuters Westlaw, you're going to see under here under browse is a variety of different categories that you have access to using your academic subscription and briefs is right here. When you come into briefs, you can see that you have a couple of different areas that you can then subfilter by, meaning that you can actually click into them to kind of pre-filter. So obviously you can start searching here. So if I started searching my briefs, I would be searching in Michigan State and Fed. I can come in and I can actually select federal or my state, or maybe I even have a specific topic in mind that I might wanna be looking at. I live in the state of Ohio, so I'm going to go ahead and click into Ohio. You're going to see that coverage for Ohio brief starts in 1990. So we have 27 years of briefs specific to Ohio courts. You're gonna see that the most recent briefs are gonna be populated here, that I can begin my search in the search bar, or if I'd like, I can actually come and click on advanced. Now, a lot of times I like looking at the advanced button for uh, the specific things like trial court documents or jury instructions or briefs because it really gives me a nice template to work off of. So I can type in different terms. So for instance, today we're going to be working in the field of employment, discrimination. So I would like those two words to appear within the brief. I can come down and say I want a specific date range. And this is where it gets really nice for kind of that competitive intelligence. I can actually state maybe opposing counsel's name in here and see if he or she has ever dealt with this similar issue before. I can actually type in the court's name that I'm going to be presenting this to and see if uh, what other attorney work product has been assigned to that particular court. It also helps give you a little bit of insight of how maybe that court has decided similar cases like this in the past. Or I can just select search. Now what this is going to do is this is populating any single brief that Westlaw has access to and from a variety of different courts all throughout Ohio. And you're gonna see that we have over 10,000 briefs just within this specific sub area. Now that can be a little daunting, it can be a little overwhelming. Don't worry, we have some other filters that are available to you to kind of help bring this down a little bit. So one of the things that we wanna do is we wanna look at employment discrimination. That's our issue. But what is kind of that sub fact that really sets it apart? In this particular search, we're gonna type in age. This makes it so that it's, we're now looking at age discrimination. If I know that I'm gonna be working with multiple filters, I wanna make sure that that's selected. I can then come down and actually break it down by the courts that this is dealing with. So I can see I can break it down by state specific courts or federal courts. Let's take a quick look at how the Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit has dealt with age discrimination and apply those filters. You're gonna see that this limits our results pretty considerably, makes it a little bit more work workable. 
you're going to see that it's now located by relevance and that our terms are highlighted throughout. Now here's a special tip for you. I always like to sort my briefs by date. And the reason being is that briefs are live working product, meaning that I want to see the most relevant cases that have maybe came out within the, the most uh, applicable time. And so by seeing it by date, you're going to see that I have one that was just filed less than a month ago on January 9th. This gives me some satisfaction that one of the reasons that I'm looking at the brief is for its authority. And so it's a good chance that most of the authority in that particular brief is going to be current. So let's take a look at that brief. And this is why briefs are so popular and so helpful for attorneys. Like I said, you can see in here, we have a nice table of contents. So if you struggle a little bit with trying to decide how do I organize my thoughts, how do I organize my process, you can see that it will give you a nice starting, starting ground for that. The other thing that it does is it gives you that table of authorities. So you can see that any single thing that this attorney cited to is now linkable for you as well. And you can access it also by table of authorities as well. So it really helps give you that really nice standard and also just a good example of what a strong brief looks like. So that's one way that you can locate briefs through the browse button on the home page. The second way to locate a brief is actually within a case itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to link out to one of the cases within here. So say you came across a case that is very on point with your issue, similar facts, it's going after a similar problem, and you're going to see that you have a, the case in front of you here. But if you come up to where it says filings, filings is going to tell you anything that was filed on behalf of this case. So you can see the arguments that were made to win this case. And you can see that we have two different briefs that were filed on this behalf. And again, this gives you insight into not only what you can use to make your arguments and the authority you can use, but also the authority that maybe your opposing counsel is going to be arguing. Gives you that nice strong table of contents, and again, that table of authorities. So you can locate it via the browse feature or within a case via filings. The other place that you can locate briefs via the case is through citing references. So again, if you're looking at, say, a statute that's very applicable to you or looking at a case that is very applicable to you, you can also see who is citing to that particular document. And where briefs are located is going to be under appellate court documents. So you can see, has anybody else cited to this particular case or this particular statute or regulation and their brief to help you locate strong authority? The nice thing about coming through it through citing references is that you're going to see what part of the case that they cited to it for via the headnote feature. So not only can you see who's citing to this particular case in their brief, but also are they citing to it for the same reasons you are? If so, it's probably a good case or probably a good brief for you to check out. So as a quick refresher, the reasons that we look at briefs, it helps us build out an outline and it helps us find that authority. The second thing is, is that it gives us some insight into our opposing counsel's arguments. There are three different ways that we can locate briefs, one via the browse feature on the home page, and the second and third are actually via a case or a document. You either can click on filings and see the documents that were filed on behalf of that case, or citing references and see which, uh, what other authority is citing to that particular case. So filings, think about filings as it's looking back, and citing references as looking forward. If you have any other questions regarding briefs, feel free to reach out to your academic account manager. Thank you.